You know, um, I always try to start my hunting season early. You know, especially now we're trying to do this new show. And But I'll tell you this, and we'll get right into it. You're going to run into some bad deals. A friend of mine, Rob, we hunted his place at home. He's killed some giant bucks, home being Wisconsin, and then an outfitter that he knew in Illinois. I started the season out early. I went up to Rob. We hunt for days and days, it seemed like. I mean, I sat and I sat and I sat. I'm not the most patient person in the world to start with. And when I ain't seeing deer, I can tell you right now, I'm ready to bounce out of there. I wanted to go. I was tied to the hunt pretty deep. He says, let's break camp. Let's go to Illinois. Well, tragedy number two. Got a monster buck that's cutting across this, uh, this little field here, and he's hanging out around here. However, you got a public road that goes here, and you got people driving back and forth. My guess is there's two rubs, one facing that way, one facing this way. The buck comes out of there, walks through here, cuts across in cover to that other bean field. But Brian will probably have a, as he as he usually does, have a different uh, a different idea of what to do and where to go, and then he and I will like to differ with each other. Well, tell me. Well, deer's going in just over here. There's a trail that cuts down across the ditch, a ditch that comes up there to a point. The rub's all in there. He's going right around the end of that ditch, going to the north and coming out just in this bean field. So he comes out of that cornfield, 